Hello, hello. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Hey, how are you, Oscar? I'm fine. Okay. You're driving, Oscar? No. Oh, yes. No, today oh, no. my home. Okay, good, good. No problem. So welcome to the class, right? I'm going to start with the, with the presentation right now. And later I will, I will uh, take the attendance, right? Okay, good. Okay. Oops, sorry, give me a second. Okay, so the presentation is here. Good, so today is Friday. Thank God it's Friday, right? So I imagine if we have plans for going out, I hope it's for tomorrow, right? But today is class, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe next Friday, Oscar, we have we have time because next Friday no classes, right? Yes. So today, yes, we we have the class number twenty two, right? And the topic for today is stages of brand awareness. Stages of brand awareness, right? And today is July the 22nd. Tomorrow is the birthday of my daughter. I told you, right? Sophia. Sophia is going to be 10 years. Oh, really? Yeah. And your daughter is in September. You, you told me, right? Yes. Yes. Happy birthday for your Okay. Baby. Thank you. Thank you. We want to celebrate tomorrow. Yes. Thank you. Um, September when? You invited me. Oh, yes, let's go. <laughs> Galaxy Bolding <Vaulting> tomorrow. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, Perfect. yeah. I you got go it. around like about six o'clock. We're going to be there, right? <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, so, and when is the birthday of, of Sophia? September, when? Really Sophia is uh, March. Ah, March. March six. Yes, March 6th. Oh, okay, so it's she's younger than my daughter so a few mom i know okay and and in what school does she study oscar she's studying the santa catalina school in san jacinto san jacinto san Cat santa catarina is a famous school yes i know yes i do remember in the Earthquake, the 90, I do, I do. 80, yes. 86, right? Yes. Yeah. And this is still a good place. You know, Catholic places are really good because they teach very well. There, there is discipline, right? Yes, it is very nice. Yeah. This is cool. Mm. And my daughter studies in uh, Guadalupano. In oh, okay. Uh, yes. Perfect. You're really good. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, good. Now we're going to start right now. Uh, Vanessa, welcome. Welcome to the class, Vanessa. Hello, teacher. Hello. Oh, let me see my Mac. Okay, good. Uh, give me a second because I'm gonna try my the volume of my computer. Check. Oh yes. Yes, now it's, it's ready. It's ready now, yes. And here we go again. Okay, now, and today we're going to discuss about money, about pistol, right? Okay, money is important. And it's good, money is good, yes. Uh, 
Okay, well, give me a second. Roberto, I got your message, Roberto. Thank you for communicating, Roberto. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Now, uh, I was saying that money is good. I mean, the money is good. Excuse me. The problem is uh, the love for the money, right? The love for the money. That you prefer the money to other things, you know? Uh, for example, the time that you dedicate to your family, right? To, or to your daughter, to your son, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's the problem. The love of the money. The Bible said that, right? That the love for the money is not good. But the money is necessary to buy things, to buy food, the house, education, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then here we have the first question, right? The first question is, ladies and gentlemen, for Debbie. Are you good at saving money, Debbie? Debbie? Are you good saving money? Mm, yes. Oh, nice. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Everybody in your family is like that? No. No, no. <laughs> I think only me. <laughs> only you. Well, okay. So you have to keep the... Uh, the finances of your family, right? That's nice. Okay. When I was child, uh, in in Christmas, uh, my grandma gave me uh, money. Uh huh. And did you used sí. to have a piggy bank? Alcancía piggy bank. Sí, pero yes. no era un no era un piggy. <laughs> okay, it was a hen. Era una gallina. <laughs> No, era una manzanita. Ah, okay. Sí. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations to you, right? And you are the salvation of your family, right? That's why, listen, that's the reason we get married because our wives are this, are uh, behind us, right? Nuestras esposas están detrás de nosotros, cuidándonos de espalda, right? So that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I am a spender, David. I am a spender. So my husband, too. No, okay. We are like that. <laughs> okay, now, what about you, Oscar? Are you uh, a saver? Do you save money? I don't care saving money. Sorry? I don't care saving money. Oh, okay. I understand. Okay. And how about you, Vanessa? Currently, are you saving money for to buy something? Actually, no, teacher. No. I can't save money. Oh, you're a spender, right? I see your face. You like shopping, eh? <laughs> okay. Good. Then, uh, Vanessa, when you go shopping, do you normally compare the prices in different stores? Or do you just go and buy? Yes, I try to compare the, the prices of different stores to to choose the the best one on in the, the best the price. topic of the price and the quality. <laughs> of course, the quality. Well, <laughs> in the case of women, we also see the quality in the <laughs> economy, right? Is we are not a stingy, eh? Tacaño, no. No, it's we are savers. <laughs> Okay, um, Debbie, if you don't want, you can you cannot answer this question. But do you ever buy secondhand things, used things? Yes. The microphone, Debbie. The microphone. Perdón. Okay. Este, for me, no, I don't have patience. Paciencia, verdad? No, 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 I know, but, but the question is this. Wait, wait a minute. Do you mm -hmm. ever buy secondhand things? Like yes. shopping center? Uh -huh. Yes, but ah, okay, good. not for me. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Yes, because when you go to, to those places, you have to look and check. No tengo paciencia. I don't have paciencia. Patient. Oh, that's why you don't like shopping. For my maybe. baby, for my baby, yes. Oh. Because the, the thing... The baby thing are say um, in a good condition. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, you're right. Just because the babies don't use the things 
long time. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> You're right. Good. I haven't thought yeah, about that. I haven't thought about <laughs> that. Yes, is your right. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. And now, uh, Oscar, I guess Oscar had kind of trolled with the internet, but I hope he connects, right? Now, um, Vanessa, again, and later I will ask Domingo, but Vanessa, do you ever give money to charity? Yes, teacher, when I, when I can do it, I do okay. it to different charities. There are many organizations. Uh -huh. From from the church. And, oh, nice. And sometimes when in the in one year ago, like maybe I I have a how do you say refugio, refugio? shelter a shelter. A shelter. Shelter. Mm -hmm. Shelter of puppies. <laughs> oh <laughs> okay, good. No, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know I thought you said a, child, a shelter for children. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. I love dogs too, right? Uh, yesterday was the, the dog's day, right? Remember? Hey, my, my, my dog Polar was celebrating, you know? <laughs> okay, so, but that's good. Charity. Okay, Chamba, your commentary, Chamba. Mister, what is the meaning charity? Charity in Spanish is caridad. Caridad. Ah, okay. Yes, for example. Thank you, mister. You're welcome. Uh, Vito Guarato House. Yeah, Silo Sara. Okay, well, Teleton is, you know, some people say yes, some people say no, right? Estafatón. No, no, it's the... <laughs> okay. No, I mean, some people believe and some people don't believe, but we can call this charity, right? Or, or maybe um, there are many organizations. Ayúdame a vivir, I believe in you. Ayúdame a vivir, yes. I have, I, have a, a, uh, I have, sorry, a friend who's a doctor and he said uh, he'd give money. He would give us a lot of money to, to Ayudame a Vivir. Yes, and, and because he's a doctor, he helps, you know, children, etc. There are many organizations that can help, right? Good. Now, Domingo, uh, do you give tips at restaurants? You know what? What's the meaning of tip, right? Yes, this is. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the time is um, the time on the restaurant is in uh, either person. Okay. Uh, if it is uh, in La, La Pampa Argentina, yes, but is Pupusaria Nia Julia? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is in in one. One restaurant is uh, the tips is incorporated in, in the bill. Page. In the bill. In the bill. Is one person is good. Okay, I understand. Uh, uh, in, in attention, I say about attention. Attention for the attention. Yes. Attention. Uh, is 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 uh, yes. Uh, the the tickets but propina. The tip. Uh huh. It's, yes. It's true. Uh -huh. Yes, see? Yes. Yeah, you give a tip, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we have to be honest, right? We Salvadorian, sometimes we give just one, two, three dollars the month, right? If you are pistudo, right? Maybe five dollars, but, but not too much, right? Like in other countries. Okay, that's nice, uh, Domingo. Uh, I mean, uh, I... Um, my friends, my friends, and boy, the French boys, and says, I wonder if it's beautiful for the girls. <laughs> the <problem>. ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I understand when, yeah, when you are drinking beer, everybody's your friend, including the waiter, right? So, waiter, here you have five dollars. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yes, nice. Okay, uh, Oscar, do you haggle when you shop? Haggle is, what is bargain, right? Patrick. Bargain. Excuse me. How do, do, you under, do you understand haggle? Bargain? No. Bargain? Uh, regatear. Oh, yes. The haggle is a synonym of bargain. Bargain. When you bargain, it's, it's the same. You're haggle. So do you haggle? Yes. When you shop? 
Yes, when I shopping, when I go to shopping in the Quinta Avenida. <laughs> yes. Baje Mese. <laughs> I yes. heard it, Mike. They, they normally say $20, but sometimes they no. $10. And believe me, sometimes they go this. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's a 50%. So, yes, it's true. Sometimes if you go to those places, to buy meso or el agachón, right? El agachón. Okay, uh, you, you can haggle, right? Okay, that's nice. And let me see, Vanessa, do you have a credit card, Vanessa? No, I don't have any credit card. No. And why is that? Why is that? ¿Cómo? Why? Why you don't have credit cards? Um, I think in this moment it's not necessary for me. Nice. So I don't want to enhance enough. <laughs> yes, I heard in a program that the credit cards are the elegant way to pedir fiado, right? Yeah. It's an elegant way to pedir fiados. Okay. I, no, I hope. I don't like this idea for this moment, so. In okay, the future, I, I, I know. Uh, Claudia Guadalupe that is not angry with me because she works in a bank, right? Uh, yes, let me see. Banco Pucatlan, right? Uh, I'm not against the, the credit card, but I'm against, yes. Uh, I'm against of the use of the credit card because people cannot use the credit card most of the time, right? So I don't have credit cards anymore, right? I cut them. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, Claudia Guadalupe. You like, oh, she's in this moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about you, Oscar? Do you do you have credit cards or do you use credit cards? No, teacher. no, no, no. Okay. I I <laughs> lose with the credit card more money. I understand. Yes, I understand. Yes. Good. Okay, now, let's go out. Okay, <laughs> me too. <laughs> Me too. I have uh, I have paid a lot of interest, so no more. I don't want when they call me and then I say, "Excuse me, do you hate me? You are offering me credit cards. Why do you hate me? <laughs> Porque quiere el mal para mí? I say. <laughs> because you know it's not good, right? For me, for me, you know, for other people, me. Yes. I'm not saying no, but for other people, me. Okay, now. I saw Carla Vanessa over there. Carla Vanessa, are you there? Yes, I am, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, the thing is that sometimes when I don't see the camera, I don't make questions, but Carla Vanessa, uh, do you have to pay uh, sales tax in your country? Yes. Yeah, right. In the United yes. States, Carla Vanessa, uh, we, we call this uh, BAT. But VAT, you know, VAT is the value added tax, what we call in El Salvador IVA, right? Yes. Nobody saves on that, right? Nobody has that. <laughs> and the United States, States, the price don't have any taxes. Sorry, the prices? In the United States, the prices don't have any taxes. Oh, really? Okay. When you buy, uh, the taxes is close to price. Ah, okay. Close to price. Good, good. I understand yes. that. But here uh, in El Salvador, here every... in El Salvador, uh, the price has all the IVA. So we mm -hmm. we can see reflect the the price of the product, the net price of the product plus IVA. In uh -huh. in the United States, it's two different things. In El Salvador used to be that way, Carla Vanessa. In El Salvador used to be include the e, include the tax. In the past, the no. The tax. In in the past, I remember I say uh, they used to say forty thousand uh, forty dollars, for example, plus IVA. I remember, yes. For example, the last time I saw this was in uh, what is the name of this cable? Uh, Sky. Sky, right? Sky, el que pasa los partidos de la Liga Española, you know, Sky. So I remember it says um, $39. Uh, I remember something like that. 
plus IVA, right? Plus IVA. But now, you know, all the prices, the IVA is included. Even you, if you buy churritos, yes, the IVA is there. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Okay, let me see. Um, Debbie, again, uh, do you ever put money in the bank? Eh, perdón, perdón. ¿Cuál es? Do you often put money in the bank? Yes. Yes, I know you're the saver of the family. I know. Nice. <laughs> That's nice. No, no, I believe. But some people put the money down the, the mattress, right? Abajo del colchón. But no. sometimes we don't know, right? And uh, other people, for example, believe in, in putting the money in investment, right? The Bitcoin, for example, now is popular, right? For some people, for some people. Uh, and it's, it's an old thing, right? Some people attach the Bitcoin with the government, but I think, no, it's, Bitcoin is ooh, very old, very old, right? And we have to uh, take risk, take the risk because it's an investment. But when you put the money in the bank, most of the time is safe there, right? No interest. No le van a mucho interés, though. Yeah, you're, you're, you're selling the money, right? Okay. Do you buy, do you sometimes buy things that you don't need? Maybe this question is, let me see, I will take the attendance. Vamos a tomar la asistencia para, para tomar en cuenta los que no, no me han encendido la cámara. Let me see. Okay, give me a second. Trini? Present. Hello, Trini. Welcome. Uh, Aminda? Ah, Aminda is not here today. It's strange. Okay. Ana Maria? Present. Good. Welcome, Ana Maria. Carlos William? Claudia Guadalupe? Yeah. I didn't say any negative about credit cards, eh, Claudia Guadalupe? <laughs> okay. Now, Domingo? Present. Ever? Present, teacher. Good Welcome, evening. Ever. Nice. Thank you. Okay. I will make questions now. Ever likes to Let's do it. Thoughts. Yes, Domingo? No, no. Yes, sister. No, you asked okay. me. Usted me preguntó algo, no. No. Okay, yes. sorry. I heard someone say teacher, no. Um. Oh, okay, continue. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm estoy cortando vara, sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, Carla Vanessa. Present. Good. Leticia. Leticia. Mariano. Present teacher. Good. Mariano in the curtain, right? I, I was confused, Mariano. I thought it was an hammock. Se veía como maca. Only Mariano understand, but okay. Oscar. I'm here. Good, thank you. Rosemary. Let me see. Oh. Sorry, uh, uh, Claudia Guadalupe, uh, don't worry about the, the class. So, uh, Claudia Guadalupe has an emergency, right? Ella siempre está de listener, Claudia Guadalupe, pero ahorita tiene una emergencia. Así que no se preocupe. Usted esté pendiente de su papá. Oiga, Claudia Guadalupe, no, no tenga pena. Aquí le tomamos la asistencia, ¿ok? Now, uh, Rosemary. Ah, yes, you said yeah, right. Okay, Rosibel. Present teacher. Thank you. Sonia Ibeth. Present. Welcome. Vanessa Noemi. Present. Thank you. Walter Omar. Mr. Castaneda. Hmm? Walter is not here. Okay. When, ah, uh, when is... Is going to be a listener, right? 
Okay, and um, Chamba? Chamba? Present, mister. Present, mister. I know, I know. Okay, thank you. Debbie? Present. Jorge? Jorge Alfredo? Okay. Now, let me see. I didn't ask. Let me see. Uh, Vanessa, Noemi, yes. Rosibel. Hello, Rosibel. Hello, teacher. Hello, Rosibel. Hello, teacher. 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 Hello, uh, let me see. Give me a second here. Okay, good. Give me a second. This, uh, do you sometimes buy things? Ah, oh, yes. This is the question, right? Rosibel, do you buy uh, things that you don't need? Hmm? <laughs> Sometimes I think, yes. Okay, norma normally, for example, when you when you go to Dollar City, right? <laughs> we buy yeah. a lot of things we don't need, right? Yeah, yeah I see it's not necessary, but I buy it. Even though we buy it, right? Uh -huh. I, I don't know you guys, I, I don't know Oscar or, or Chamba or Domingo, I don't know, but we usually buy, for example, video games sometimes. <laughs> or oh, we we spend the money in the stadio, right? In the stadio. Sometimes we not all men, right? But but yes, sometimes it's it's not necessary, right? But we spend the money. But and in the case of the women, my opinion, of course, I don't know you, but uh, the women like to spend the money in clothes, in clothes on time, right? Sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. I'm not accusing anybody. I remember. I yes. remember one month, one month ago. Mm -hmm. I I bought one uh, blouse, blouse. A blouse, uh -huh. Blouse, blouse. Mm -hmm. But only by by that. But I see the skirt. I buy at the moment. I don't. I don't. I don't dress the skirt. Yes, uh, the name of this is buy by impulse, buy by impulse, mm -hmm. right? And buy sometimes, sometimes when we go, well, I I put this example because it happened to me, right, in, in Dollar City, right? Okay, thank you, thank you. Now, next question, let me see. Rosemary, Rosemary, please. Uh, do you think that money can buy love? <laughs> chama, come on, chama. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. Rosemary. What do you think, Rosemary? We can ask Talia, right? <laughs> when she got married with, with Mr. Moto. <laughs> okay. So let, let's ask to uh, Mariano. Mariano, I haven't asked Mariano. Do you think money buy love, Mariano? Not to share. The money can buy love. Okay. Uh, but you didn't even give a thought. No le daría una pensadita, aunque sea, Mariano. If a millionaire woman <laughs> <laughs> say, Mariano, uh, I, love no, you. I don't know. <laughs> Mariano, I love you. I will give you all the money. <laughs> I will buy you two cars. I will Sugar take you mommy. to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mariano. Mm. Okay. <laughs> but it uh -huh. isn't love. No, I know. I'm, I know. But <laughs> some people, you know, some people, well, a lot of people do that, right? A lot of people in the world do that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In my case, I am poor. So <laughs> <laughs> my wife loves me not for my money. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Mariano. Thank you. Now, this question is for uh, Leticia. I know Leticia is not here. Uh, Carla Vanessa already participated. Ever, ever, please. 
this is a personal question ever, but if you don't want to answer, don't answer. But have you ever been in debt? I have to My confess ever that I am with the bank in this moment in debt, right? But what no. about you? I think we consider the people, the home, what debt, uh, only the home, some mm -hmm. credit card, uh, one, I don't know how to say prestamos. A loan, loan. L O A -N. loan. Yes. Loan. Mm -hmm. yes. Loan. Yes, I got I got some, you have some one, debt. Right? Uh, yeah, most people have fondos social para vivienda, something like mm. that. And the different taxes that we need to pay to the, the month of month. Yes, and uh, talking about this, sorry that I, I, I'm gonna give you suggestions ever for, for this, but uh, maybe you have your house, maybe, I hope you have your house, but uh, normally when people buy house, the more recommendable is not to buy a house for a loan of more than 20 years, right? It said, right? According to the experts. More than 20 years? More than 20, no more than 20. No hay que hacer préstamos de más de 20 años. Hipotecario, right? And you have to pay at least the 3% of the house. 3% beforehand, right? No? At least. And your salary must not be more than the 30%, right? No debe pasar del 30% of su salario, right? The, the quote, la cuota. So those are the. Yes. But it's yes, necessary, exactly. like you say, Eva, right? We are in debt. Yes. We're going to be like this for until we have the beer and we have very white hair, you know, <laughs> forever, right? That is the life. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. A very good commentary. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. Uh, Trini, hello, Trini. Listen, have you ever bought a lottery ticket, Trini? Expending, expecting sorry, to have a lot of money? Sí, he comprado. Uh -huh, yes. Así. Yes. Um, once. Mm -hmm. um, así creo que es. Yes, once. Once. Yes, it's correct. Once for not. Not. Se me ha olvidado. No gané. Uh, I, I didn't no, win, yes. Well, in fact, most people don't, don't win, right? In the lottery. But how about um, Lotin, Trini? Have you ever bought Lotin? Um, creo que sí. You really, <laughs> yes. My daughter and my wife, they love to buy Lotin sometimes, but with the same money they win, they they buy more. <laughs> they buy more Lotin. So last time they won $5 or they were really happy for that. <laughs> yes, but some people believe in this thing, right? The lottery. Yes. Good. Thank you, Trini. And Ana Maria. Uh, have you ever found any money? And Marie Palacio Saraujo. Okay, so let me see. I guess everybody participated, right? So let's go to Domingo again, please. Domingo, have you ever found any money? Uh, found, uh, yes. Yes? How much? Yes, uh, after uh, $10. Ten dollars, lucky Ten you. Lucky you. Uh -huh. Ten dollars is something, yes. The common is one dollar. Or a quarter, or, right? <laughs> a quarter. A no, quarter. one dollar is common. Uh, is common. Yes. If uh, ten dollars, it's not common. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. And and the problem yeah. is that when you find the money, I mean, what can you do? Take it, right? There is not a, not a thing. Maybe if you buy a bag of money, maybe in that case you have to think because you can go to jail, right? You can go to Mariona. 
if you take a lot of money. So there are many cases of people who return the money, but $10, you're not going to say, estos 10 dólares de quién son? Mine. Okay. <laughs> Immediately, right? So we can. Uh, 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 in the in the world in the world in, mm -hmm. yeah uh, uh, five dollars is uh, is the company is okay uh, the come say the as the uh, the people the 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 the, 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 the <laughs> ah yes and, oh yes <laughs> yeah. of course because uh, in the company is like a family right mm -hmm. uh-huh we have to be honest and say uh, alguien se le cae obviously the the group is small, right? But yes. on the street, on the street, what can you do? In Not the streets, is, in the streets, yeah, yeah I am. <laughs> impossible, right? Impossible <laughs> to find the owner of $10, never, or $5. Hey, Sonia Beth, welcome. The next question for you, Sonia. Have you ever given money to a beggar? Mm, yes, um, many times. Many times, right? Uh, do you give uh, the money to young beggars, old beggars, or children? Uh, sometimes children. Children and all, all beggars. Oh, good. Yeah, I remember a friend. I was working in Santa Ines School in 2010. 2010, I remember, and I all remember that she she told me right uh, because when we were on the street. Everybody said, hey, give me money. Okay, here you have. Give me money. Here you have. Here you have. And then I say, come on. Her name was Ana Maria, right? Come on, Ana Maria. Don't give too much money to everybody. I mean, one, two, or three the month, but not everybody. I mean, and then she said, listen, maybe they're going to use this money for drugs, but maybe they're going to use the money for food. So because I don't know the difference, I always give money to everybody, she said, right? And then I say, okay, she's right, she's right. But the only people I don't give money, uh, the, those guys that are very young, you know? Like 20 years, 30 years sometimes, they, they look healthy, you know, and they're asking for money. No, I never do that, but sometimes yes, children, old people, old people, some, they need money, you know? And sometimes the situation is very difficult, but one dollar is not too much. One quarter is not too much. And you maybe you're helping someone to, to eat, right? Okay, thank you, Tony Bet. And the last question is for one volunteer. Have you ever had any money stolen from you? On the street or on in the company or in the house, I don't know. Volunteers? Teacher, what's the meaning? Que me han robado. Uh-huh. That's it. Stolen from you. Somebody else took the money. I don't remember. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Lucky you, because I remember many times. With Sometimes nine. Sometimes I lost my money. Oh, well, <laughs> so that's it's it. the money that you, that you look in the street. <laughs> and you listen. And you found the street. <laughs> you lost ten dollar, right? I know who found your yeah. money. I know someone who found that your money, Vanessa. Ten dollars you lost, right? I will tell you after the yes. class. I will call you. The, is the person. The found Domingo. <laughs> no, Domingo. The found ten dollar. It's a secret. <laughs> okay, no, but yeah, in my case, for example, I have been stolen. Listen, with knife. Sometimes because there were five guys uh, with a with a clipper, you know, con corta uñas, and then said, "Give me your money." There, there were five guys, okay. Um, and sometimes I was kidnapping, you know, I was taking my girlfriend, and, and after the, in the university, you know, and one guy took me like this with the guy, you know. Okay, Benito para acá, los curitos. <laughs> and she took all my money. And the last time, uh, I remember a guy with a, uh, uh, sorry, a guy with a grenade, right? Con una granada. So we are going to die. And I saw the grenade. <laughs> so give me your money. <laughs> Come on, that's our experience, right? Aha, uh -huh, Sonia, 
Uh, I have a job where the money was missing every day. I I I was a cashier. My goodness. And who used to take the money? People, your co-workers or who? Co-worker. I co -worker. think a co-worker. Uh, we are two cashiers in, in two mm -hmm. two times, two um turnos. Chief. 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 Like the computer, there is a chief, the same in, in, in when you're working. You have morning shift, afternoon shift, and night shift. Uh -huh. and I, I have the, the noon shift and always uh, missing. My goodness. One, two, or three. Uh, the most, um, 20. Dollar. $20, yes. They like to eat for free, right? Take the money and go to take lunch. <laughs> to eat lunch, sorry, I... eat lunch. Okay, I understand, sorry for that. Yes, in, 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 the, in my, the place where my wife works, there is a guy, People, everybody knows he's the one, you know? But come on, those things are really difficult, right? You know, to tell, to stay together to that person. And you know, he's a, He's a, a, a stealer, right? He's a he's a manioso, right? And then you say, oh, this guy, you know. <laughs> no, it's difficult, yes. Okay, class. I don't know if you have any extra commentary. Y estafa, ¿cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Estafa. Ah, estafa. Um, uh, wait, fraud, fraud, yeah. fraud, right? Fraude. Fraud. It's the same, right? Fraude Give me a second. I will go to San Google because uh, uh, I know that the uh, fraude is fraud, right? F R A U D. And I remember a movie, La Gran Estafa, right? But give me a second. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, fraud is correct. Estafa, fraud. F R A. Okay, let me see. I lost. It. I love the spelling. Give me a second, Domingo. Yes. F R A U. Uh, U D. Fraud. Fraud. F R A U D. Fraud. Estafa, right? Have you ever received a fraud, Domingo? Yes. Ooh, um sorry. Well, um, a low, uh, little money. Okay. Oh. Hmm. You, you have money. You have ten dollars, so no problem. You can pay everything, right? <laughs> okay, I'm kidding, Domingo. I'm kidding. Solo estamos molestando, Domingo. Yes. Okay, good. Let's continue, right? This is the class for tonight. You, we continue with unit number four: loyalty, right? Loyalty. When you're loyal to a brand, to a product, right? So um, let me see. Uh, Rosemary, please, can you read the objective for tonight? Rosemary? Okay, Rosibel, help me, please. Uh, you need for loyalty. I will be able to describe different stages of stages, a, stages, stages of a product's brand awareness. Aware, good pronunciation. You know, I have problems to pronounce this awareness, awareness, aware, awareness. Yes, good. That's it, right? And uh, we are going to review the 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 stages there are different stages yesterday we were learning about five stages today we are going to learn about other category other stages and this is in the platform right esto que vamos a ver está en la plataforma no está en el manual listen no está en el manual I, okay i will say no está en el manual no lo busco en el manual no está yes it's only in the platform. Solo está en la plataforma. So, let's start with this. Stages of brand 
awareness, right? The first one is brand loyalty. Este está en el otro grupo que les puse también, ¿verdad? Pero esta es otra categoría, yes. I repeat, this is only in the, in the platform. Look, this is where customers will choose your brand time and time again, right? Time and time again. All the time. For example, we have a, a Copperton. Copperton is a brand to, to the sun, okay? to protect you against the sun, right? O to get a tan, right? O si usted quiere dorarse en la playa, okay? So you can buy the, the Copperton brand. That's a good brand, you know? So that brand loyalty. Then uh, brand preference. This is where customers giving a choice between two brands or more brands. So yesterday we were learning about that, right? The preference. And that in a queue, remember, of products, you choose the one. But in this case, it says two brands. You say Pepsi or Coca-Cola. Pepsi, you say, right? I like Pepsi. So uh, the customer will choose yours over someone else's, right? This is the brand, sorry, the brand preference, brand preference, right? And brand no recognition, brand no recognition, right? Uh, this is where your customers simply don't recognize your brand. Sorry, lo dejan en visto. So this is where your customers simply don't recognize your brand, right? Then brand recognition is the opposite, right? And then you say, ah, oh, leche muki. So you, Yo creo que ustedes han de pensar que yo trabajo para leche muki, ¿verdad? <laughs> sí, pero que es la leche que compramos en mi casa, so sorry. But you say, oh, leche muki, you know. You recognize the brand, right? Every time you see it. That's it. No more explanation about this. I guess it's easy, right? Then brand reaction. No. If someone associates your brand with something negative, they will purposely avoid, evitar, right? Avoid your product, okay? This is brand re reaction. So again, we have uh, brand loyalty, brand preference, brand no recognition, brand recognition that is the opposite and brand reaction, right? So, Repeat after me, please, because you're going to complete this in the in the platform. Repeat after me, microphones off. This is where customers will choose your brand time and time again. Brand preference. This is where customers this is where customers giving a choice between two brands will choose yours over someone else's. Someone else's. Okay, then the next one. Repeat after me, please. This is where your customers simple don't recognize your brand. This is where your customers simple don't recognize your brand. Brand recognition. People recognize your product. Come on, repeat, please. Brand rejection. If someone associates your brand, associates your brand with something negative, they will purposely avoid your product. 
purposely avoid, evitar, right? Avoid. Good, questions? Questions about vocabulary? I will repeat this, right? Ayer vimos eh, esto de stages of brand awareness, right? Los, los pasos o las etapas o los, o los momentos de, de reconocer una marca o la forma de reconocer una marca, right? Uh, pero esta nueva categoría está solo en la plataforma, right? Se parece a la otra, pero tiene unas cositas ahí diferentes, yes? Ok. No questions? Perfect. So, ladies and gentlemen, we finish the presentation, right? Okay. Now, we're going to the manual. Let's go to the manual. Sorry. Where is the manual? Okay, give me a second. Perdón, que ha perdido el manual aquí. Ah, oh, yes. Um, oh, yes, I have it. Okay, good. But before to go to the manual, I need to, to review the this other stage, right? Vamos a repasar estas, esta, esta categoría también, right? Give me a second. Sorry, perdón que estamos jugando aquí con, con las pantallas. Yes, give me a second. Here. Okay. Let's review, right? And after we make the review, we are going to, to work in groups, right? Okay, this, right? Brown recall. This is the class of yesterday, right? A consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category, right? This is one stage. The next, recognition. Consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. Okay. Top of mind, the first brand cons cons customers can think of, can think of, sorry, for a product category. And brand dominance, customers can call, can recall any brand but yours for a particular product category, right? And finally, this is almost the same, right? Se parece a las otras que vimos, you know, unknown brand, right? pero tiene otro nombre. Customers don't recognize your brand. Okay. Now with this, now let's go. Now let's go to the manual. Pues ya podemos ir al manual. And what happened? Se me pierde el manual. Sorry. Perdón, que no sé qué. ¿Qué le está pasando a estos archivos? Aquí estamos. Ok. Ah, here, right? Ok. Sorry, excuse me, class. Sorry. Now, uh, we have this exercise, right? It says per work, but we're going to make a group work, right? Let me see. Okay, what are you going to do? I will reduce the size. Okay. Um, let me see. No sé qué me pasa ahora, que no, no, 
No puedo controlar aquí. Give me a second. Okay, here, right? Vamos a reducir un poquito. Yes, okay, here. Hoy sí, ahí estamos. Un poquito menos. Let me see. Okay, good. Hoy sí se alcanza a todo. Good. Now, he says, what brands are top of your mind? Uh, are top of mind for you, for your classmates. Complete the chart with your own information. No sé si alcanzan a ver o lo hice muy chiquito. ¿Se alcanza a ver? Mm. Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. And, and the computers, yes. Ah, ok. In, in your cell phone, no. Ok, vamos a hacerlo entonces más grande y lo vamos a, lo vamos a ir bajando. Eh, para los que están con celular. A mí, a mí me falla. Con el teléfono no veo nada. <risa> ya necesito lente. Pa. Pero sí, como dice Domingo, aquí en la computadora se ve mejor. Bueno, ahí lo, lo hice grande, solo que lo voy a mover, oiga, Domingo. Ok, now, for example, what are examples of ice cream produced locally? Then you're going to tell some brands. Copy the brand, right? And then you're going to ask your partner, all partners, what's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? And then if you remember, copy the name of that company and then ask your partner, right? Can you explain what a clinic is? If you can, answer. And then ask your partner, right? Your, what's your favorite movie theater? And then you ask your partner, right? Okay. Uh, pero creo que para la captura de pantalla sí voy a tener que hacerlo chiquito porque por ahí creo, yes? So please, hagamos la captura de pantalla. And this is easy. I don't want a presentation. I only ask your partner, right? Ask and copy the, the answer, right? Okay, ready? Now we're going to go to, to the breakout rooms, right? Here we go. Vamos a ver si me salen los cinco grupos. Let me see. Porque tenemos varios listeners, ¿verdad? Okay, Ana María, Ever, si sí, aquí hay al menos dos. Carla Vanessa, Rosibel, Sonia, okay. Okay, I got your message, Oscar, no problem. Está bien, Oscar, no se preocupe. Eh, Carla Vanessa, Sonia y Bet, sí, hay dos chicas que están aquí. Trini y Debbie, muy bien, estamos bien aquí. Domingo y Vanessa, sí, está bien, al menos hay dos. Mariano y... Ah, no, aquí no, aquí necesito a alguien más. Entonces lo voy a reducir, lo voy a reducir a cuatro, mejor. Es que como es viernes, hoy se me ha escapado varios, ¿verdad? Ok, let me see. Ok, cuatro, vamos a crear cuatro. Entonces, ok, number one. Debbie, Domingo y Mariano. Number two. Trini, Vanessa, Noemi. Three. Ever, Rosibel y Sonia y Beth. And four. Uh, no, tampoco me sale. Es que Roberto está de, de oyente. Ah, sorry. Vamos a ver. Vamos a hacerlo otra vez. La última vez. Si no, lo vamos a hacer en grupo para no estar perdiendo mucho tiempo. Vamos a ver. Es que participen, no estén de oyente porque me, me crean aquí problemas. Vamos a ver. Entonces, este sí. Uh, no, me salen, en, en la 1 me salen dos oyentes. Oh, ok. No, entonces vamos a hacerlo en grupo. Sorry. Es que hoy ya vemos muy poquitos. Entonces vamos a hacerlo en grupo. Sorry. Ok. Good. So let's do it together, right? Let's start with number one, right? Number one. 
we're going to do something, right? And then I will ask one by one, right? No, better thing, right? You are going to help me to ask. For example, if I say Domingo, Domingo is going to ask Sonia Yvette. Sonia Yvette is going to ask Ever, Ever to, to uh, Carla Vanessa, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, so let's start with number one. Uh, let me see. What are examples of ice, ice cream produced locally? Mariano. Uh, the example of ice cream produced locally is La Nevería. La Nevería? Only, yeah. Do you remember only La Nevería? Ah, no, no, the Boston, La Nevería. Boston. Boston ice cream. I know. Boston, La Nevería. Continue. Uh, in Rio Soto. Rio Soto. Los pobrecitos que andan a pie, ¿verdad? Rio Soto. Ah, yes, yes. Uh -huh. and, and the, the Carreton ice cream. <laughs> ok. I know. No, no para Rio Soto, too. Los de Rio Soto también andan a pie, Mariano. Yes. 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 Okay, Rio Soto, Boston, Nevería. No more? Eh, la fábrica de gelato. I don't remember. Gelato. Gelato is Italian, right? Yes. La ragazza mangiare el gelato en la piacha de la novona o en la de fermata gelato de la factory. termine. Capito, Mariano? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good, gelato. Eh, Good. Now you're going to ask Trini, Mariano. The same question. Okay, uh, Trini, what are the examples of ice cream produced locally? Trini? Trini. Ah, you're thinking, okay, good. No, you, you can repeat. You can repeat, Trini. You can say Nevería again. Uh -huh. mm, um, Sarita. Sarita, uh -huh. mm, La Nevería. La Nevería. Uh -huh. uh -huh. No, no. Okay, that's enough, right? Uh -huh. Sarita, Nevería. No, a ver. No, don't remember. That's okay. That's okay. That's, that's enough, right? Good. Now, Trini, you ask the same question to, let me see. Ana María, are you there, Ana María? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Trini, the same question to Ana María. What? the name of a computer company no, no, no. Identity. no example of ice cream okay the misma yeah okay Ana Maria what are example of ice cream produced locally the ice cream produced locally it could be Neveria Starita Rio Soto I think they say uh, de carretón, pero I don't know how you how say that. Okay, so the the vendors, the vendors, ah, the vendors. Right? Okay. vendors on the street, yes. Okay. Yeah, the, or national ice ice cream, right? That is delicious. Yes, of course, right? <laughs> yeah, I love them. The only one I don't like is is tamarindo, but the coco, oh, delicious. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Now. Ana Maria, you made the question yes. to uh, Domingo. Second question. The second is, what's what the is name? the name? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, Domingo, what's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? Ajá, Domingo. 
the particular fruit. fruit. Yes. 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 Fruit is. Uh, Okay, Domingo, don't worry. Don't worry about that. You made the question to Ever. Hello? The same Domingo question. To Ever, right? Come on, Domingo, read the question to Ever. Whoever is, what's the. What is the name of the computer company identified by a particular fruit? Oh, it's, uh, I know that it's uh, Apple. Or Apple, right? Apple. The, 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 I don't know if there is the, the, the same brand for Mac for the computer and Apple for the advices, the different the advices. X. In the past, that was the, the X, right? Macintosh. The X. And it becomes the, the Apple, right? The Macintosh, yeah. Mac the old name, and now the old it's, brand it's, it's, is Macintosh, but in the present is Apple, yes. Okay, Ever, I don't know if the person agrees, right? No sé si la persona va a estar de acuerdo con usted, but you made the question. Carla Vanessa, right? The same question to Carla Vanessa. Okay, Carla Vanessa. What's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? Uh, identify, identify. Uh -huh, Carla, what is it? Carla Vanessa. Okay, so. To Mariano, ever to Mariano. Let me see if Mariano agrees with you. Okay, Repeat Mariano, are you there? Yes, ever. Okay. Yes, Mariano is there. Yes, come on. Okay, what's the name of a computer company identified by a particular field? Uh, an Apple. Apple, right? And you know why is uh, beaten? Why the, the uh huh yes ah the, the why apple. the apple is bitten porque está mordida la manzana for Alan and Eva sorry for Alan and Eva <laughs> uh, well some people say that right but I I read the story right but I don't know if it is true but they, uh, it says that the in honor of a friend of the founder. What is the name of the founder of Apple? Uh, it's the same guy, Steve Jobs, right? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. He had a friend. And his friend was, you know, sorry to say, but he was gay, you know, his friend. And he he was died uh, by an Alan Apple. Turing. Sorry? Alan yeah. Turing. You know the story, right? Okay. Yes. They, uh, this day my sister uh, has a publication in hmm? the media social, social media perdón ahorita la recordé ahorita que usted lo mencionó and he 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 bit the 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 apple mordió la manzana right and he died right Debbie se murió sí la se la la envenenó algo así la envenenaron la manzana y él la, uh -huh. la mordió, yes, y murió en la vida real, yes, he died. Okay. And in, in honor of this guy, Steve Jobs made the, the apple beaten, right? Por eso puso la manzana mordida. You know, sorry for this guy. <laughs> Le tocó la de Cenicienta, lo que se murió. No, la de <laughs> la bella durmiente, Eva. ¿eh? Sí. Pero se la envenenaron por su preferencia, ¿verdad? Algo así le Ajá, uh -huh, something like that. I don't remember mm. very well. But... Something similar, okay? Okay, good. Let's go to the next one, right? Uh, uh, Debbie, you made the question to... Uh, to... 
Oscar, no. To Rosemary. Rosemary, are you there, Rosemary? The same question? No. Question number three. Rosemary? Okay, Rosibel. Okay, come on, Debbie. <laughs> Can you explain what a clinic is? A clinic is a, I'm not sure, it's a brand, the, the paper for, for you can use using for a, a clean your, your face or your house, every, everything can you think. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Sure. <laughs> no, no, but sorry for that. Uh, is a, is a, the, no, no, it's correct, but but we. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I was thinking in, in in the other in the other paper, <laughs> and then when you say uh, it's a paper, you can clean your your. <laughs> the face. Well, no, no, the you're house. right. <laughs> But in my mind, I was the no, Rosibel, no, no, I see. <laughs> no, but you say your face, right? <laughs> es que, es que Rosibel estaba pensando yeah. en, los, en los pañuelitos. <laughs> Yo estaba pensando en el toilet uh -huh. paper, you know? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. But it's okay. You can, <laughs> you can clean everything, right? Okay. Thank you, Rosibel. Now, mm -hmm. the same question for uh, Sonia Ibeth. Question three. Uh -huh. Rosibel, make the question. Sorry, teacher. Uh, so, Neibet, can you explain what a clinic is? Uh, clinics, uh, in fact, is a, a brand. It's a brand of uh, disabled um, tissues. Tissues? Tissues, yes. Tissues. tissues. Good. And Diego is making commentaries too, right? I. Diego le está haciendo la segunda ahí. No, Rodrigo o Diego, sorry. Rodrigo. Rodrigo, sorry, sorry. Rodriguito, excuse me. Rodrigo, you know, use, use so, a eh, Listen, Sonia, <laughs> my memory is bad, sorry. <laughs> okay. Good, thank you. Now let's continue with the next one. Next question. Sonia, make the question to, to Vanessa Noemi. Number four. Please. Vanessa, what's your favorite movie theater? My favorite movie theater is from, I don't know, Cin Cinemar from Galleria. Cinemar. <laughs> I don't know, it's Cinemar. I don't remember. Good. But I usually visit that. Now, Vanessa, to Chamba, please. Chamba. <laughs> What's your favorite movie theater? My favorite movie theater maybe is the Cinemark. Okay, thank you everybody. Now, in this case, remember we were discussing one stage of what we call a loyalty of the brand, right? because that's the name of the unit number number four, loyalty, loyalty. So when you talk about clinics, when you talk about Apple, when you talk about Cinemark, when you talk about uh, sorbetes, the cocoa on the street, you know? <laughs> so you're talking about uh, what is the best brand, you know? And you know that this is important when you, uh, when you sell a product that in the mind of the, of the customers, your product is there, right? So when, when, when the person has the product in their mind, they go and buy that product, right? And there are a lot of factors involved, a lot of factors. One of these, for example, uh, Walter was telling yesterday is the quality of the product, right? For example, when you say Boston, I like the Boston ice cream, right? Uh, Apple, my goodness, Apple is the best of the bear, right? Or when you go to Cinemark, yes, I like it. 
the the popcorn is very expensive, but but yes, I mean the places really comes to right. Oh, clinic, clinics is uh, well, it's a, a brand from United States and it's coming to Central America. But yes, I mean those products are really good, right? So that's why it's important the brand. Okay, good. So we finished this part. I don't know if you have any extra question. No questions? Okay, so uh, let's take the attendance in the meantime. Trini? Present. Good. Aminda? Aminda is not today. Okay, ya, aquí ya me afligí porque Aminda nunca había faltado. Eh, Ana María? Present. Okay, thank you, Ana María. Carlos William? Okay, Claudia Guadalupe. Okay, espero que haya salido bien con lo de su papi, Claudia Guadalupe. Domingo? Present. Thank you, Domingo. Ever? Present. Jose Roberto? Me manda el mensaje, Jose Roberto, porque me dijo que va a estar de lista, ¿verdad? Carla Vanessa? Present. Good, thank you. Leticia Guadalupe. Leticia. No, okay. Mariano. Present teacher. Oscar. I'm here. Good. Me avisa cuando pueda participar. Eh, Oscar, ahí me manda el mensajito, please. No, no problem. No problem. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. I made my coffee. Oh. Come on. Nice. I was drinking my coffee too, you know, at the beginning of the class. Yes. Also, Dino was drinking coffee too. He loves the coffee. Very nice. Okay, good. Ya no está Rodriguito por ahí, pero le estamos poniendo todavía <laughs> el moped, right? Okay, let me see. Eh, Rosemary? Rosibel? Presentation. Thank you. Sonia Ibet? Present. Vanessa? Noemi? Present teacher. Walter Omar? Walter, también me ha faltado ahora. Yo, ¿Cuándo fue pago? Yo creo que... <ríe> no, ya pasó el pago. Solo Wendy me pidió permiso ahora en el grupo. No sé si los demás me han escrito ahí. Eh, ¿Chamba? ¿Chamba? Present. Thank you. ¿Debbie? Present. ¿Jorge Alfredo? Ok. Good, that's it. Right now we're going to see a video, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no questions about this? Sure, no questions? Okay, let's go. Let's go and watch the video, right? Okay, the body language for business. Let me see. We already see this, right? Yeah, we finished this. Sticky situation is the one, okay. Sticky, sticky situation, right? Good. Sticky situations. Now, in, re in a recent survey, right, a survey is an investigation, a poll, you know, una, una encuesta, a survey. People in the United States were asked to describe their most embarrassing moments during a visit of someone's home. Here are the top of 
answer, right? So imagine someone is visiting you, right? And sometimes there are many embarrassing things. You know, for example, uh, last time, a friend of my wife come, uh, came to the class and, and the dog bite uh, her daughter. And so it was a very embarrassing situation, you know? But here in the United States, number one, dressing incorrectly for the occasion. Oops, right? It was a, a familiar party, you know? And then you were with, with, you know, uh, with the suit, with tie and very formal, right? Incorrect. Arriving on the wrong day, oops, or wrong time. The party is at three and you are at two o'clock, right? Oh, the wrong place. No, la fiesta era aquí en el burger de, la, de los héroes. No, yo que ando arriba por el escalón, okay. So it's, yeah, it's come, right? Spilling, no, spilling, huh? something or, or breaking something valuable. Spilling is uh, derramando. You drink, oops, sorry. Or breaking a base, right? Or, or something. <laughs> Se me cayó el vaso. Okay. Then uh, saying something by mistake that offended the horse. Like you said, Señora, disculpe. ¿Verdad que le está saliendo bigote? Come on. Oh, yes, right. Oh, eh, señor, ¿verdad que usted le va al Real Madrid? Uh, en esa barcelonista, ¿no? My goodness. You can offend the host, right? Forgetting someone's name. Uh, sorry, your name is Maria. Carmen. Jasmine. No, my name is David. <laughs> Okay, forget the name of the person, right, of the host. So those are the most embarrassing situation in the United States, right? Now, would the same thing be embarrassing in your culture? What do you think, Oscar? Are these things that they mentioned here embarrassing in El Salvador too? Embarrassing in El Salvador too? You know what is embarrassing, right? Penosas. Bochornosas. <laughs> when my mother me grita, <laughs> me gritaba Sh en la ah, calle. Shout, shout at you. Shout yes. at you. In a party. <laughs> nah. Yes. I imagine. <laughs> okay. Mothers are like that, Oscar. Yeah. Okay. That's an example, right? Now, um, let me see. Good. And Domingo, what was your most embarrassing moment during a visit of someone's house? Imagine someone was visiting your house. What was something embarrassing in your case, Domingo? A situation embarrassing. Mm -hmm. In your uh, house, when you receive visits. Uh, yes, one, one, this is the moment the cuando uno va a salir y no, ya no, ya no puede salir, entonces. Ah, okay. When a person comes to visit you and you have an errand, errand is un mandado. Uh huh. And then, oh, you have to stay. Oh, you are closing the door, right? A salir y comprar la verdura, boy. I may visit otro día, right? Come on, so it's really embarrassing, right? Okay. And the person is sorry. I will, I will bring him for you a petrol here for you, but forget it. Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, nice. Uh, Ever, what about you? What embarrassing situation that had happened when someone visit was visiting your house? I, I don't remember, teacher. You don't remember. In my, in, I mean, in my house, I, 
I think I don't have, but I remember when uh, um, my mother, that is, that is. Your mother? She was a friend, and I was, I don't know, 10, 10 or 11 years. And she said, "Ah, this is my little boy," and and <laughs> and I, I I don't want. And ever, I don't want to stay here because I don't know. And she showed the the ever. She showed the pictures of you without the diaper, right? Le enseñó la foto a todos de ever sin diaper. <laughs> Okay. No, no, this is in, in, naked in both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Yeah, uh, I remember my mom saying, like, ¿Y este marihuano que has traído aquí? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy was, hey, ¿Por qué me dice tu mamá? <laughs> okay. okay, but, you know, that's normal. Mothers are really special and we love them, right? Nice. Now we're going to go to this vocabulary. Problem with guests. The topic is this, right? And here we are going to recognize some situations that are related with, with this topic, right? And recognize the verb and the noun. The verb and the noun. For example, the verb is apologize. Say, I'm sorry, you know, I'm sorry for that. Apologize, apologize. And the noun is apology. So you say, I give you an apology. Or you can say, I apologize. The verb and the noun. What about approval? Approval is the noun, right? What would be the, the verb for approval? Approve. Oh, approve. Approve. A-P-P-R-O-V-E, right? Approve. My goodness, it's totally correct. Uh, invite, that is the verb. I invite you, you invite me. I invite you to a coffee. <laughs> so what Invitation. is the noun? Sorry? Invitation. Invitation, that's it, right? Good, the verb is lie. Okay, what is the, no, sorry, the, the noun is, is, is lie. What is the verb? Don't tell me lies. Don't, don't tell me lies. Hay una canción de, uh, de Fleetwood Mac que se llama Little Lies. Little Lies. Mentira pequeñita, chiquita, o mentira blanca, como decimos nosotros. <laughs> okay. So what is the verb? Liar. No, liar is the person. Mentir, mentir. How do you say yeah. mentir in English? Lie. Lie, the same, lie. the same, right? I lie or you tell me a lie. It's the same, the same, right? Misunderstand. <clears throat> you misunderstand me. I misunderstand you. Everybody misunderstands. What is the noun? Misunderstanding. My goodness, where is my bell? Que se me hizo mi campana. Sorry. Okay, but clean. Totally right. Yes, misunderstanding. Misunderstanding, right? And no, next one. Teacher, oh. With ing or et? No, with ing. Misunderstanding. Okay. Misunderstanding. Yes. I I, I will bring the, my bell. Give me a second. Voy a dejar a Dino aquí un ratito. Solo va a traer mi campana. Ok. Por aquí les dejo a Dino. Bueno, cuídame. Okay. 
Good. Now, misunderstanding. This is for Carla Vanessa, right? Thank you. Now, but a uh, offer. Offer, right? What is the verb? Tick tac, tick tac. What offer. is the verb? Sorry? Offer to. It's the same. Totally right. Offer, offer, right? Now, a uh, realization. What is the verb? Realize. 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 Darse cuenta, okay? Llegar a una conclusión. Realize. Okay. Reminder. Well, remind. 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 I remind, remind you to work in the platform, right? I remind you to turn on your, your cameras. I remind you to participate in the class. Yes, because it's important, right? Remind. And the now is reminder. I will give you a reminder, right? Okay, good. That's it. Talking about this, eh, ya hablando de algo serio, este, quisiera hacerles una observación. No sé si se molestan, si les hago alguna observación. No, no, no. Bueno, entonces le voy a hacer una observación. Permítame. No, no, no. Ok, ya les hice la observación. Ahora sigamos. Now we're going to watch the video. And just give me a second here, right? Ok, Vanessa. I saw, I saw your, emo, your emoji, right? Good, let me see. Okay, this is the video, right? Now let's watch the video. In the United States and Canada, as in most countries, people like to invite guests to their homes, but sometimes misunderstandings occur and embarrassing things happen. Everyone seems to have a story about a difficult situation involving a guest. We're going to look at some of those stories today, then ask people what they would do in these sticky situations. Let's take a look. I was invited to a party and I arrived an hour early. I thought it would take me longer to get there. Well, Rebecca came to the door wearing sweatpants and an old t shirt. Oh, oh. Rebecca, um, am I too early? You're the first one. I'm the first one. <laughs> I could hear the shower running in the background, and of course, not a single guest was there. Wow. Well, we asked some people about what they would have done in this situation. What would I have done? I would have pretended to have an errand to run in the neighborhood, like going to the drugstore, the grocery store, and then I would have told her I'd come back later. If I were him, I would have apologized and then offered to help with things, like setting the table. You would have left? No, I don't think so. And what if the situation were reversed? What would you have done if you were the host and a guest arrived there? Mm, if I were the host, same thing, really. I would have invited him in and put him to work. What would you have done? Now let's take a look at another predicament. I invited my boss and her husband to dinner the other night. We had a great time, but she just wouldn't leave. By midnight, my husband and I were so exhausted. Finally, my husband fell asleep at the table. My boss was very embarrassed when she realized it was so late. I just never know what to do when a guest won't go home. So what should the host have done? Let's get some opinions. I don't care if she is my boss. I think I would have reminded her how late it was. I wouldn't have done anything, except pretend I wasn't tired. After all, she's your boss. I'm not sure, but I think I might have lied and told her I had to wake up early in the morning. <laughs> then I would have thought of some reason. What would you have done? Let's take a look at one last situation. 
My new neighbor invited me over for lunch. I was a good guest. I came on time. I left on time. I even brought a loaf of bread. It's a good thing too, because I couldn't eat anything else. You see the host served seafood and I hate seafood. I'm not allergic to it, but I really can't stand it. I probably hurt her feelings, but what should I have done? What should the guest have done? Let's see what the people we talked with had to say. I think I would have lied and told the host that I was allergic to seafood. I think you should eat whatever the host makes, even if you don't like it. I mean, if someone goes to all the trouble to cook you something, it's rude not to eat it. You know, I had a similar experience once. I served a dish with tomatoes in it to someone who was allergic to them. He broke out in a rash. It was terrible. Now when I invite people to dinner, I tell them what I'm planning to make sure that they can eat it. The host in that situation should have asked her guest about food allergies and food preferences before she planned the menu. What would you have done? We've heard a number of practical solutions to some difficult guest situations. Now you should be ready for anything. Okay. Now we're going to play the video again, right? And I'm gonna put the captions, the captions here, yes. And uh, later we're going to comment, what would you have done in situations like that? If you invite someone to your house and some embarrassing thing happen in your house, what would you do in this situation? So come on, let's watch again. In the United States and Canada, as in most countries, people like to invite guests to their homes, but sometimes misunderstandings occur and embarrassing things happen. Everyone seems to have a story about a difficult situation involving a guest. We're gonna look at some of those stories today, then ask people what they would do in these sticky situations. Let's take a look. I was invited to a party and I arrived an hour early. I thought it would take me longer to get there, Well, Rebecca came to the door wearing sweatpants and an old t-shirt. Oh, oh. Rebecca, um, am I too early? You're the first one. I'm the first one. <laughs> I could hear the shower running in the background, and of course, not a single guest was there. Wow. Well, we asked some people about what they would have done in this situation. What would I have done? I would have pretended to have an errand to run in the neighborhood like going to the drugstore, the grocery store, and then I would have told her I'd come back later. If I were him, I would have apologized and then offered to help with things like setting the table. You wouldn't have left? No, I don't think so. And what if the situation were reversed? What would you have done if you were the host and a guest arrived there? Mm, if I were the host, same thing, really. I would have invited him in and put him to work. What would you have done? Okay, Vanessa, what would you have done in that situation? <laughs> you have a party, <laughs> you're taking a shower, getting ready to for your guests, or putting the dulces in the piñata, right? <laughs> <laughs> the same, I apologize with, with the other person and offer my help to, to clean or to to or to do the laundry and <laughs> set the, the table or whatever okay. activity that that allows before the party or whatever the meeting <laughs> uh -huh, okay what about you oscar what would you have done mm, i think give me one moment not buy the beers for the party Okay, nice. Okay, very good. Now, let's go to the situation number two, right? Now let's take a look at another predicament. I invited my boss and her husband to dinner the other night. We had a great time, but she just wouldn't leave. By midnight, my husband and I were so exhausted. Finally, my husband fell asleep at the table. 
my boss was very embarrassed when she realized it was so late. I just never know what to do when a guest won't go home. So what should the host have done? Let's get some opinions. I don't care if she is my boss. I think I would have reminded her how late it was. I wouldn't have done anything. Except pretend I wasn't tired. After all, she's your boss. I'm not sure, but I think I might have lied and told her I had to wake up early in the morning. Then I would have thought of some reason. What would you have done? Okay. Uh, this question goes to um, Sonia Ebert, please. What you, what would you, sorry, have done? If I, I, I am in the, in the, in the husband or, or the, the wife? No, the host. In this case, the, you invite your, your, your boss, the, the, your boss is a woman, right? Mm -hmm. And your boss brought, brought her husband and you are in your house with your husband too. So you are the host, the woman is the host. Mm -hmm. So what would you have done? And I give my apologies and I going to tell to my husband to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> take your <laughs> is it, I imagine the situation is you take your husband like this, right? Okay, to the bed, right? <laughs> nice. Nice is a good idea. Nice. Let's see, right? Chamba, what about you, Chamba? What would you have done? Okay, so um, let me see, uh, Rosemary. Ana Maria. Do you understand the question? What would you have done in that situation, Ana Maria? You have no idea, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, someday, I don't know, I, we have some guests and I accidentally told them that their bags were there, you know, say, ah, aquí, les, aquí están sus carteras, you know, aquí están su, su bolso. <laughs> I was remind them that that if they need it, or they need the, 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 their bags, right? And they could ta uh, take them, right? But they understood that I was telling them, go away. Ellos pensaron que lo estaba echando, no? But it was a very embarrassing situation. But yeah, yeah. that could be a good, a good uh, situation. Or maybe you're living in La Campanera, right? And say, and listen, this place is dangerous, so be careful after you leave. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry, we have to go, they say. <laughs> okay, good. Now let's go to the situation number three, right? Let's take a look at one last situation. My new neighbor invited me over for lunch. I was a good guest. I came on time, I left on time. I even brought a loaf of bread. It's a good thing too, because I couldn't eat anything else. You see the host served seafood and I hate seafood. I'm not allergic to it, but I really can't stand it. I probably hurt her feelings, but what should I have done? What should the guest have done? Let's see what the people we talked with had to say. I think I would have lied and told the host that I was allergic to seafood. I think you should eat whatever the host makes, even if you don't like it. I mean, if someone goes to all the trouble to cook you something, it's rude not to eat it. You know, I had a similar experience once. I served a dish with tomatoes in it to someone who was allergic to them. He broke out in a rash. It was terrible. Now, when I invite people to dinner, I tell them what I'm planning to make sure that they can eat it. The host in that situation could have asked her guest about food allergies and food preferences before she planned the menu. 
what would you have done? Okay. What would uh, what would ever? No, no, wait, ever no, excuse me. Uh, what would sorry uh ah Carla Vanessa, yes, thank you. Carla Vanessa, what would you have done? Uh, well, I don't like uh, seafood too. Oh, really? So. That's true, in your case. Oh, wait a minute. Let me check the woman. Maybe it's you. <laughs> okay. Ah, what would you have done? Uh, I, no, I don't. Uh, it, ha it has happened to me so many times. <laughs> really? And I, yes. Uh, and so I if I invite your, you I and your family to my house, I will be careful to serve. <laughs> <laughs> Only if they are shim, they oh. like it. Yeah. Okay. But fish, uh, no. But what would you tell the woman in this case? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't need seafood. Yeah, I'm so said. sorry, but. In my case, I believe the same. I mean, you have to be sincere, right? Because, yeah. Uh -huh, if you don't like it. You don't, yeah. I remember when I was a kid, right? Well, ooh, long time ago, right? Christopher Columbus time, you know? And then uh, uh, I was in the house of one of my friends. I was like seven or eight years old. I don't remember, right? But uh, the thing is that uh, I don't like powder milk, you know, leche en polvo. I hate it. And then I, I threw, I threw it out every time, you know, I vomit the, this milk when I, when I drink it. So, and I remember I was in the house of my friend, right? And his mother gave us, uh, you know, a cup of milk and it was powder milk, you know? Era leche en polvo, so and I, when I try, oh my God. So what I did is that I threw it in a plant, you know. <laughs> but I told my friend, you know, eh, eh, mira, la, la leche que me dio tu mamá no, no puedo tomármela, you know. It's, but then. And that's I mean, why you like. <laughs> yeah. <you> well, <laughs> yeah, but listen, uh, uh, in my case, I don't think we have to eat or drink something you don't like, right? That's my opinion, right? Thank you, Carla Vanessa. And uh, Vanessa Noemi, what about you? What is some, something that you don't like? For example, Vanessa Noemi. Uh, I don't like to eat pipianes. What do you say pipian in English? Uh, squash. 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 You're talking about baseball, not about people, right? No, yeah. Okay, good. So, sorry. Food teacher. No, no, I'm sorry. I need to clarify the situation because, you know. Uh -huh. About food. If they so, start with, oh, look at this. Uh, squash with cream, you know, pipianes con crema, you know. I don't like it. And then the same with the with the rellenos. I don't like it. But what Relleno. kind of fields? Fields is a relleno, right? Fields. For example, uh, pep... whiskey. Oh. Rellenos de papa. Mm. Todo lo que sea relleno. Pepper. Like <laughs> Pepper. Chile rellenos. Menos. Pacaya. Pacaya. Menos. No. I and fish like with shrimp, pescado no. relleno, camarones. No, teacher, I don't like it. My God. I threw it out. Like <laughs> what do you like, Vanessa? Tell me. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, there is <laughs> it. Like, you're like my daughter. She doesn't like to eat most of things, you know. She's, we have to take care of the food we serve to her, you know. <laughs> okay, but imagine the... Your, your best friend, you go to the house of your best friend and she serve you mm -hmm. pianos con crema, right? Uh, I, I don't know. 
I asked mm. first mm. to to her to him that what it's the food. before to go right before to go no, so. no voy a servir nada relleno por... <laughs> <laughs> yes and put ponernos de acuerdo ah, to think? agree ah uh, to to get agree no. that to but agree, food. just simple, to agree. We ah, agree. to agree mm. to what we are going to eat before. Nice. Day. <laughs> Listen, what to is avoid this problem. <laughs> no, I know. Uh, for example, uh, one of the ladies over there said that she served tomato, right? And the person, because she was, she didn't want to tell the, that she, uh, the person was allergic, she, the person ate the tomato, you know? And it started like rushing, you know. So it's a very embarrassing situation, right? But you're not allergic to anything, Vanessa. For at this moment, I don't know if I'm allergic to. You are allergic to all the food. <laughs> no, no. no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. No. I, I'm allergic, you know, to what? Cangrejo de Rio, right? I, I'm allergic. Man. So if I eat them, if someone serves me like, like this, right? Most people don't like to eat because they say, ooh, son como araña, you know? Me too. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, come on, Vanessa. <laughs> you don't like anything, right? <laughs> okay. Only pizza and hamburgers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, good. Thank and you. And wings, <laughs> okay good thank you thank you very much good class so that's a uh, that's all for tonight ah no sorry we missed one exercise yes we have six minutes to go yes we're going to go to an exercise before we finish just give me a second here give me a second okay and i will close this close this and maximize this, right? Good. So here we have four situations. This person didn't like what the host served for dinner. This person arrived too early for a party. A dinner guest stayed too late at this person's house. This person served food her guests didn't like. Good, number one. The correct answer is a dinner guest stayed too late at the person's house. Her husband fell asleep at the table, right? Good. Situation number two. Uh, this person didn't like what the host served for dinner. Number two, three, or four? Number three. Number two. Number two and number three. Mm -hmm. Give me more. Give me that much. Give me that much. Situation two. Okay. So. Two and four. Number two. This person didn't like what the host served for dinner, right? That's number two. Number three. This person arrived before a party. This person arrived, okay, uh, too early for a party, right? Nice. And situation number four. This person served food her guests didn't like. That's okay. Very good. So you see, that's it, right? That's that, that that's all, folks. Now we'll take the attendance and then we we'll finish. I will ask someone. I will ask, I have someone in mind, right? But if I have volunteer for tonight to stay with me from one to one session, 10 minutes extra with me. I have a surprise for you if you stay with me, right? Si alguien quiere quedarse los 10 minutos, me dice. Tomorrow is Saturday, come on. 
So pueden levantar tarde mañana. ¿no? <laughs> ok, so I have some money in mind. If you tell me yes, ever. Do you want to ever? Don't worry. If you can't, no problem. Sorry, teacher. You cannot. Okay. I cannot. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday. <laughs> okay. No problem. Monday, right? No se me escape el lunes, oiga, ever. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Carla Vanessa. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to stay with Carla Vanessa. Ten extra minutes. And we're going to see each other next Monday, right? Okay. Thank you, Carla Vanessa. You saved my life. You saved my life. And I have a surprise, right? Le tengo una sorpresa, Carla Vanessa. Los demás no. Porque... Leche Muki. <laughs> Leche Muki. <laughs> You're right. Uh, Leche Muki for you. <laughs> okay, good. So, now, uh, Trini. Good. Have a good night, Trini. Bye-bye. Good night. Eh, Jorge Alfredo. No, right. Eh, let me see. Aminda. No. Debbie? Present. Good. Have a good night, Debbie. God bless you. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Ana Maria? Present. Good. Have a good night, Ana Maria. Good night. Chamba? Cla Carlo William? Claudia Guadalupe? Walter Omar. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you very much, Claudia. Let me see. Aquí tengo un mensaje más. No sé quién es. Let me see. Okay. Uh, present. Yes. Yes. It's Claudia. Okay. Good. Thank you, Claudia. Good. Domingo. Present. Good. Have a good night. Vanessa Noemi. Present teacher and good night to everyone. Good night. God bless you. Evan. Present teacher. Good. Have a good, good night, Evan. Rosibel. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Sonia Ivet. Present. Good. Jose Roberto. Okay, and uh, Carla, Van Carla Vanessa? Present. Thank you. No se me vaya a ir, Carlita. Mariano? Present, teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Oscar Anulfo? Good night, teacher. Okay. Hi, good night. Good night, Oscar. God bless you. Bye bye. Thanks. Good. Let me see. Uh, Carla, I need to practice the present perfect with you. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Good. So I will open the, a file with questions about the present perfect. It's going to be very fast. Let me see. Okay. It's not a glass of... No, it's not a glass of... Mookie. <laughs> don't worry. You don't like it, right? Yeah, I like the, the milk. <laughs> but no Muki. <laughs> but no Muki. <laughs> <laughs> no, my family loves it, you know, my daughter, my wife, my dog even uh, sometimes. In, in fact, when I was a, a child, uh -huh. uh, in my house, always we have to drink a, a glass of milk in the morning, but it was powder milk, but uh -huh, they... Powder milk. Powder milk, but uh -huh. they always uh, bowl, bowl it. Uh -huh. La ponían herber siempre. Uh -huh. Boil it, boil it, yes. Boil it. Uh -huh. So uh, I can drink a boiled powder milk, oh. but not, uh, I can drink a powder milk just mixed with water, fresh water. Uh, okay. It, it, it will cause a uh, several, several damage. <laughs> I know, I know. 
I know what you mean. <laughs> so, I like, come on, <laughs> Carla, I like your, I like your humor, right? Just, <laughs> it's just totally right. Right. No, no, listen, in my case, oh, no, I used to throw it out. Even if, if the powder milk is powdered. In your case, no, but I'm, in my in case, case, boil it or not boil it, I throw it Always. out. Always. Yes. And I'm still. So when, I, the, so when your president give us. Uh, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't, right? When your president gave that, I, I didn't drink, right? I only ate, oh, wow. I only ate the, the, the noodles, the macaroni, right? Only. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Good. Now I have this. Oops, I can't find it. Permítame que no, no encuentro el archivo, Carlito. Give me a second. Okay, no problem. Okay, I have it here, right? Yes. Now we'll share with you and tell me if you can see it, Vanessa. Let's give me a second here. Okay, share. Okay, can you see the yes. my screen? Okay, good. Now, question by question. Have you ever appreciated a sunset? So it's yes. a yes, they have one, we have it. Yes, yes, I have in the Pital. Oh. Oops, wonderful. Beautiful. I have never been in El Pital, Carla. Well, why not? It's um, well, Most maybe beautiful. because my family Great. don't like to go hiking. I I like, I love it. But my family, mm. they don't like it. Uh, you don't have to walk or hike a lot. I know, but, you know, they, they think like going to the mountain is, is a, 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 a big for, work. For them. Or for what? them. Yeah, for them. They don't like But I love it. Well, in fact, I used to go to... A, a special trip to El Lago de Ilopango every year, right? And we walk for about two hours from Cojotepeque to Ilopango Lake. Uh, given the uh, road there. Uh-huh. So it was oh, fantastic. Okay. We pass rivers, we pass a uh, forest, yes. plantations. Uh, all, all that part is like, uh, right? Step, step, yeah. uh, steepy, steepy is, uh -huh. Uh, no, it's like uh, como uh, embajada, como rocoso, como um, uh -huh. yes, okay, Alcantar, good. Como, okay. Good. Next question. Let me see. This one is interesting. Have you ever been on TV? Ah, uh, no, I haven't. Oh, you're not famous. Even with Cocolito, uh. no, never. <laughs> oh no! Wait, wait a minute. I have been in television like uh, 10 years ago oh, <laughs> when okay. I was a kid, when in the semana, no. Oh, really? Domingo para todos. Do when Domingo, para, you todos. Domingo para todos. I can't believe you, Carla <laughs> Okay. And, and this is, the, this is the, the funny part. Yeah, and listen, we it, it's, it's similar like when, if you listen reggaeton, come on. Oh, okay, yeah, this is the funniest part because <laughs> we were with my cousin and my brother uh, oh, my playing que oso, with, que oso. <laughs> with, playing with a uh, little uh, toys of the Power Rangers. Oh, okay. <laughs> and we were like yeah. You were and with the, uh, Daniel Rooks or with uh, Gordo Max? Uh, Daniel Rooks, but he has a uh, a co-starting partner called Maldonado. No, um, Willy. Willy Maldonado. No, the other. Uh, it's a, a. Javier Gomez. No. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get and and they came to the to the pasaje. And oh. asking if we had uh, Oco bottles. Ah, I remember, <laughs> yes. And you had. And we were, and we had, and the the cameras and the guest was, hey, Senor, do you have 
oh, cold water in my, in my grandma. Yes, yes, I have, come in, come in. And, and we were like, huh? In, like what? And when the camera focused on, on the children, mm -hmm. we were putting the, the Power Rangers in front of the camera. <laughs> okay. So at the end you decided, I want any way I will be famous, right? Well, in yes, the case- I was the, the pink ranger, so <laughs> call me <Okay>. Kimberly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, in my case, I, I never, uh, I was in the, in the newspaper, in El Diario de Hoy, oh. I remember, right? It was an article about using technology in ITCA. And they oh. took the picture and I was like, in front of the camera like yeah. this, right? And yeah. you were like, uh, importance of technology. Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> With this, right? What, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. And uh, the most famous thing I remember in Metro Center, I remember I, uh, before he was the president, Mauricio Funes, yes. I, I, I met the guy in, in Metro Center, I remember. And we oh, were really? together to use the ATM, right? El Cajero Automático, like this, right? At the oh. same time. And then I said, oh, no. Please. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Go, go ahead, sir. Go ahead. No, yes, I did that, right? And he said, thank you very much. And, and he said, eh, someday you will hate me. <laughs> uh -huh. Of course. <laughs> You're right. I didn't know. I thought it was a someday good guy. You know? I will... Uh... I will stone you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. No, I, I thought he was a good guy, but at the end, well, no commentary, right? In the, good. Next in question. The end, yeah. uh, <clears throat> have you ever broken a bone? No, I yeah. haven't. But my son, yes. Oh, sorry for him. Yes. Like two, three weeks ago. I sent oh, really? you a photo that, that I was in the hospital. He still have the yes, right? El, el yeso. Yes. Yes. Larry. No, how do you say yeso? The cast, right? The cast. Uh, no, yeso is. Uh, the I, cast? No. Cast. I guess. Okay, I will make the next the question. Uh, I will it's go it's to San Google. So, okay. next question. Have you ever called uh, your boyfriend? Can you see the, the yes? Uh, in this moment, give me a second. Have you ever called your boyfriend by the wrong name? Oh, yes. <laughs> but it's not that your husband, insane. right? It's not your, your present husband, no. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, Carla Vanessa. <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, a, I'm gonna die this day. <laughs> yes, you all remember. Look, uh, cast. I okay. told you, right? cast. It's yeso. Okay. Yes. Yeso de, de el que le pone uno en el cuerpo, you know? Yes. Because the other is chalk. Chalk. Uh, it's chalk uh -huh. for the, the balls. El que usamos en la pizarra en los tiempos antiguos, you know? For chalk. the green balls. Uh -huh. Yes. That's chalk. And this is cast, the one when you broke a bone, yeah? Okay. Oh, okay. And, and what did your boyfriend say at that moment? My husband. Uh -huh, your husband. <laughs> uh, how do, did you name, name me? And I was, I told you, Carlo. No. <laughs> your, yeah, no. And he got up, upset with me. I mean, For he's one weekend. <laughs> he is still upset with you. <laughs> he is still upset, yes. Okay, and the last question, Calone. So before we finish, sorry, I don't say only Carla or only Vanessa because you know we have Vanessa and me, and sometimes. Okay, you understand, right? Yes. Okay, yes. now, have you ever cheated on an on, on an exam? Uh, yes, I have it. Every single exam. <laughs> no, 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 only no. with math, only oh, with math yes. exam. Me too. And in, with the other exam, with the other subjects, subjects, subjects. subjects. Uh, yes, yes, with the other subjects, I was the cheater. <laughs> you were the one who, the one who who gives the uh, 
Get the copy. That, the copy, yes. Yeah, but in moral, in, in artistic, you were the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Vanessa, that's it, right? Thank you very much. I really Thank appreciate you, your... And My it, pleasure. Believe me, it's a pleasure. Yeah, for me too, it's a pleasure to talk to you, right? I would like to stay more time, but you know, we are record making a recording, so we have to leave, right? But yes, I hope to yes. see you on Monday, right? Yes. And, and, thank I you. Have, and we hope that the football will continue. <laughs> okay, yes, because Alianza, football I don't know. No, I, I guess Alianza is not playing the weekend because, uh, you know, For because of the first things foods. that are, yes. A big mess. The government, the first food, the people, oh. Anyway, uh, bye. okay, forget it. So okay. thank you. God bless you. Have a good night. Okay, teacher. Good, good night. night. Good night. Have a great weekend. You too. You too.